was happening. They wanted to get their six young guys out there, and unfortunately for you, that meant you had to be the supportive guy. Was that difficult on you, or how was the last month or so, maybe? How did that go with you? Uh, it's obviously not the most fun when you're not in the lineup, but um, I think, like you said, you see what's happening. They wanted to see the young guys, and, and that's how it was. So um, the guys that weren't playing, we uh, – did our best to come in, have fun, you know, in, in the skates we were doing, and I, I mean, I think we made the best of it. Would you be open to coming back? I mean, a lot of people point to you as one of the guys who has helped establish a new culture. I mean, is it something you feel like maybe? Yeah, I'm for sure open to it. Obviously, um, you know, with every team looking into the summer, there's a lot of changes, and um, who knows what's going to happen, but uh, definitely would be would be open to it. It was, uh, you know, I had an absolute blast here with these guys, and um, you know the year the year that we had was a lot of fun, um, and it's a good good young group that uh, that really enjoys themselves. What makes a good young group? Like, what, 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 how did you have a blast? Everyone talks about that, but like, like for you personally, like, what was you, what was your experience? Like? I think it's just the every single day, everybody's all all in on everything um, you know a lot of teams have clicks here and there that you know some guys are laughing about some stuff some are talking about another thing but um, there were so many so many times where the whole team just just jumped on and jumped into the same thing whether it be an inside joke or a you know a serious conversation just that uh, that unity that everybody's comfortable being around each other no one's no one's scared to to raise their voice in the room and and be heard and um, everybody respected everyone and if somebody did have something to say regardless of age position uh, you know spot in the lineup uh, everyone was listening and give him that respect mark how different is this organization now than the first time just in terms of stability with the coach and gm not the questions that always seem to be around those two positions yeah it was a uh, quite a while for me ago quite a long time ago but um like I said, it was a lot of fun. Everybody's, you know, together. Um, I think the there's no disconnect between management, coaching staff, players. Um, it's all the way up and down. It's um, it's it's fun to be here, um, and it is definitely different. And I think uh, the young talent, and it's definitely definitely a spot that's going to be, uh, you know, a really good team for for years to come. Alex Tuck was able to late December when you guys get a COVID outbreak, it was a, kind of a really difficult time of the season. Uh, just given his background, he's a guy who grew up loving this team. He knows the area. He's played in big games in this league. What did, I mean, that presence that he brought, what did it really do for the group? I think it energized everyone. Um, like you said, going through some sickness and, and stuff like that, but to have him that, I mean, you can see him every day, just absolutely loves being a Buffalo Sabre, and uh, that energy rubs off on everyone around him, and and, and obviously on the ice, we all see what he can do and see how hard he works. And um, I don't think he ever ever takes a, a moment off or a day off. He's always working, and uh, he's, he's great to have around. I know it was important to you, but just how much did you enjoy playing defense all season? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, I'm not sure about the last game, I, if there was question marks uh, with somebody, but I it was creeping into my mind that I, who knows, you know, might – I'd have to play forward, but thank, thank goodness I uh, made it a full season again playing D. <laughs>